I dare you to peddle this shit to a chocolate man in Thailand or any of his friends. They will set you straight for sure. Stewie Griffin. Nobody listen. <laughs> Corvette Rudy in the house. What's up, Corvette, Corvette Rudy? Thailand. I see your channel, man. Hey, man, appreciate it, bro. How you doing? Shimmy Cash. We got the channel, too. What's your channel? It's called Shimmy Cash. Shimmy Cash. Shimmy yeah. Cash. Okay, you guys. Subscribe to this guy. Subscribe to me, the guy from Totico. <laughs> All right, man. Take it easy. Good to see you, bro. Uh -uh. Okay. I do see they drive fast. I'm, yeah, they do. It's not just fast. It's just, you know, it's a wild, wild west out here, guys. <clears throat> Mitch, if you can, find that guy's channel. Appreciate it. I'm not sure. Shimmy Cash, something like that. Shimmy Cash here. How's it going, folks? So thank you so much, so much for joining us today. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm actually a big fan of yours. I should have had him spell it. Oh, well. Hopefully you can find him. Now, Shimmy is the guy from Totico's um, wonderful site. Um, it's based in the DR, just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. big butt Dominicans. I always brag about it. Like, I've said this so many times, you know, I hey. brag about it so much. <laughs> A wonderful site. So, um, hey, have actually, you been able to check out some of the content there? Uh, actually, uh, he's, he's very into his work. I mean, he's yes. very um focused and he knows his his niche also uh, um okay it's dominicans are very pretty so it's oh, yeah. uh, it's the best thing you can ever uh take kind of a advantage of their pretty body pretty face uh, whatever you take it's pretty so uh, <laughs> his uh, his idea to start he, he i think 15 years ago he started uh -huh. working yeah, uh, on on Totico, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, he's uh, still doing a great job. As a fit dude, I need to be on that level. I need to be on that level. Dewey Grit, Stevie Stewie Griffin, the little cartoon nigga. All right, that's uh, that's like Chocolate Man Thailand's little partner. You guys must be like booty buddies or something. It's like it's like why can't you just hang out with guys? You know, just live with someone of your own sex. Just do what you would do with women. But with your buddy, you know, why, why don't guys just do that? They do. It's called being gay. Oh, that's what gay is? Oh, yeah, I could totally get into that. Because you're always quick to jump on my ass, right? <laughs> he writes, quote, unquote, Do you have narcissistic personality disorder like this you do, you douche? One of, one of several types of personality disorders is a mental condition in which people have an inflated sense of their own importance a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationships, and a lack of empathy for others. But behind this mask of extreme confidence lies a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to the slightest criticism. This little black man suffers from this disorder and needs psychological help. Smiley face, smiley face. Truth burns, doesn't it? Next comment, same person, four hours ago. Oh, you're a stalker now. Can't even wait an hour for you to get off it. I have a friend who does house calls for therapy at CC1 Condo if you want me to schedule you in. And he's replying to a video titled, Are You Ugly? <laughs> I titled the video, Are You Ugly? Do You Look Like an Ogre? Are You the Arch Enemy of Soap and Water? Girls Don't Like You. Now, if you have sense enough, or lack of sense, to even comment on a video of that title, boy, you about to get roasted good. Anybody else on here? No, nah, that's like a fresh one or whatever. All right, so let's dig into this here. First of all, yeah, as you guys can see, I live in CC condo number one. Not only that, I own the motherfucker. These are my floors. Everything in this motherfucker is mine. I've owned it for many years. I purchased it. I'm not like many of you like tricks to come here, rent Airbnbs, or stay in your little, your little, what do they call that shit that uh, people are jumping off all the time? Uh, VT1, Vut Vutale condos over by the beach and shit. I don't even stay in Patia, okay? I don't, I'm not immersed in this, like, nightlife pouring down or whatever. I got to ride my bike 15 minutes or more just to get out that way. It would take me by foot at least an hour and a half to two hours to even walk to the uh, part of town most of these people are in, right? I prefer to live in a non-tourist area. I'm actually in a Muslim neighborhood and it's very peaceful and quiet and I live amongst local Thai people. 
You know, I go to the market here, the price, you don't get price gouged. Everything's about one third of the price. And I'm a respected person of the community here for many, many years. Yeah, for real. I, and I like it and prefer it that way. It's very zen-like and calm and peaceful. I don't have to hear loud music and, you know, lots of all horror traffic going up and down the elevators and hallways and motorbikes all throughout the night and just commotion. I, I like my peace and quiet. And if I feel like I need the desire to go and see all that bullshit, I'll hop on my bike and go down the road and go see that see the shit show more or less for entertainment, right? So yeah, this is where I live, my man. This is where I live. And thank you for doxing me publicly. I'll tell all you people, this is where I live. And not only that, I live here, I own it, whatever. And no, none of y'all are not invited here. I don't want any men up in my house other than my own goddamn kids, right? I'm not, I'm not bros like that. Bro, bro, bro. No, unless you're a bitch, unless you're my girlfriend either. You can't even come up in this motherfucker. How about that, right? Any other uninvited guests, I'll have a clue for you where you can go, right? I'll tell you right now. I learned this in my third year of university at uh, San Francisco State University. Hope you guys can see that on the paper there. Okay, it says G equals 9.8 meters per second. That's the formula for terminal velocity. If you want to experiment with what that finds out, come here. It's like, it's like, why can't you just hang out with guys, you know? Just live with someone of your own sex. Just do what you would do with women, but with your buddy, you know? Why, why don't guys just do that? They do. It's called being gay. Oh, that's what gay is? Oh, yeah, I could totally get into that. Okay. <laughs> I really wonder about this, right? I'm Shemelise McBeth. This is my government name. Shady Cash all the way all day. They see me fly in the drone. It always amazes me. As soon as I pull it out, people... Hey, that's <laughs> right, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. Shemelise. Great job. Good job. Ready with... I always love when we do awards because I hear people say, Oh, I was right behind him. Oh, I was right beside them. Or, oh, they passed me. All right, women's masters. I ain't hiding from nobody. You guys know what I look like. I'm out on the streets every day, every night. This is who I am. Nobody else looks like me, right? I'm the funny looking nigga with the weird hair that's running at top speed down the road most of the time. Or I'm ducked low, tucked on the bike. Or I'm in the BMW or something to that effect, right? I'm not hiding from any of you people. I ain't scared of none of y'all, et cetera, et cetera. I read the, I should read, open the comments up again. I think I read something about a little black man. Whenever people start tossing in the little comments or whatever, the personal attacks, it means that I've like, I've cut them a little deep. <laughs> what did it say there? I'm trying to find whatever that is. Yeah, 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 MPD, personal, this out. A little black. This little black man suffers from this disorder. <laughs> I'm a little black man. Yeah, I'm not a big, ugly, ogre-ass nigga like you. And I know this is a black man talking to me. I could almost bet money on it. He might be a white man, but I would bet 9 out of 10 it's a big, ugly, fat nigger. <laughs> Tall, wide, protruding belly, something to that effect. Look like you could probably play football or something like that. More often than not, it's somebody trying to mog me that's bigger or taller or wider or stronger or something to that effect or older or whatever than me. Whatever, I get the little comment thrown at me, right? So I'm used to that. It's cool, dude. But remember, these are my floors. I own this place, and I'm pretty sure that you don't. <laughs> yeah, so you lose, as they say in Street Fighter 2. So yeah, that's my MPD personal whatever disorder. I have a friend who does house calls for therapy at CC Condo One. If you want me to skip, yeah, yeah, bring your bitch ass friend here, and he's gonna find out the formula, right? G equals nine point eight meters per second. No matter how big or tall or bigger than me you are, you are not immune to gravity, my friend. So sixth floor, off you go if you start shit. And there is security at the gate in case there are some like stalker ass niggas like you. They are not going to let anybody black in this motherfucker other than me. I can pretty much guarantee you that off the rip, too. Hey, it's behave. H-E-A-V-E. -E. Behave. I'm coming, I'm coming. Excuse me. Out of the way, Kunta Kente. Yes, sir. How can I help you? 
Excuse me? Oh, Lord have mercy. Security, security. We got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. Ruckus, what the hell is a code black? There are some hungry looking niggas at the front gate. What y'all doing here? Deliveries are in the back. <laughs> God damn. Did I, do I actually hurt people's feelings so much that they feel personally attacked and slighted even when I don't mention their name? I don't, this nigga is a cartoon character. I don't know your real name. I don't know what your profile picture looks like. I don't know who you are. You could be another man in the crowd. But I'd almost guarantee you, you have a black face. Yeah. If I'm wrong, prove me wrong or whatever. But that's what I think. So again, this guy, again, goes by the name, yeah, Stewie Griffin, the cartoon character. If you follow the older video, he was the first one to knock on something like, oh, chocolate, you better not. If chocolate man in Thailand finds out about you. <laughs> Nigga. This is a very big world. Okay. Not everyone has to agree with you. You don't have to agree with me. You just have to click on my videos, <laughs> which promotes my other stuff, which sells my movies and stuff like that. Okay, back at the house again that made it all famous. What do we got here today? Como te llama? My name is Natasha. Natasha. I am 24. You're 24. That sounds very well rehearsed. Nice to meet you, Natasha. Mucho gusto. That's it. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with you, actually, by the way. I might have narcissistic, personal, whatever disorder. I might be a crazy motherfucker. I don't know the answer to that. You might be correct. I might be correct. Does it really matter? I don't know. The condo is paid for. I'm here and I'm happy and whatever. So at the end of the day, I don't try to get into pissing matches with people unless there's a profit to be made. There is a profit to be made by selling my movies and stuff, so I will use people like you to go ahead and promote my own agenda, of course, right? Yeah, so other than that, what do you gain from this? Nothing. I see you think you have one subscriber. <laughs> You're an anonymous cartoon, nigga, right? <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Any other comments on this thing here? Let's get to the positive comments now, because, yeah. Enough of the negativity for now. All right, so this other guy here uh, commented on a video about me and my dad here, Sims and my father episode. The Matrix Escapist. This guy writes a lot of long comments, which is good. He, he, his comment is, he says, um, uh, the Sims and my father episode, I relate to this episode heavily. It is there like, it's like there was a generation of the black population who just absolutely fucked everything up and lost all moral compass. The women started burning bras and throwing their men out the house. Men started to mute their emotional attachment to their own fucking kids in response. The only one who loses out is the kid. Oh, wait, their kids too. Oh, good one, man. And their kids' kids. And so on and so on until the traumatic knock-on effects of one selfish, ignorant generation are ironed out by the hard work of the next two or three. My God, man. He's referring to like the 70s generation. I was born in 79, by the way, so yeah, and my parents' generation. One, he also says, one thing I'll say is your absolute, your, abs, your absolute honesty and openness never ceases to impress me, Shimmy. You, you use your channel like therapy and it must be really liberating. Keep it real, deserves kudos, so kudos 100. Thank you, my brother, I really appreciate the comment, and it is true. Yeah, and to a degree, my channel is therapy, even as, as that knuckleheaded motherfucker just said before, you need a therapist, whatever, this channel is my therapy, motherfucker. So there, and <laughs> there you have it. I bear all, I'm naked on the internet. Again, you fucks, most of you are anonymous, avatars, cartoon characters, can't say your real name, can't put up your picture, Probably because some of y'all is ugly and shit like that. But I mean, I dig it, right? So let me use my channel the way I feel like using it. Okay, maybe it is my therapy, yeah. Next comment. Um, Ricky Dawson, three days ago. He comments on the video, why white guys get this hard when they run out of money in Thailand. I mean, the video, he says, quote, unquote, this speaking on foreign and American relations might be your niche. As many men see traveling for love, tricking, or a change of environment, you give a take that forces men to understand it's not all milk and honey or all sour grapes for any group of men. You're correct, Ricky, right? Your mileage might vary, right? You might come here and be super trick, whatever. Or you might magically come here and not have to trick any money off at all with girls. 
With Thai girls, I think that's kind of impossible. You might be able to come here and get a Russian girlfriend or something if you're black, but I'm under the impression if she's Thai, you're going to have to shell out some dollars, man. It's like a daily dowry sin side thing or whatever embedded into Patty and whatever else. It, I don't think there's an escape from that shit, right? The pay for play is a bit too strong, right? That's my personal opinion. But, you know, it could be wrong or whatever. But um, about the whole tricking thing, that could be relative, right? It, uh, tricking is relative. I think T.I. had a quote where he says, it ain't tricking if you got it, right? So if you come here off the plane with like $20,000 or some shit like that, what the fuck is it to you if a girl wants 50 bucks, 60 bucks, whatever? You're here to party for months. You're, it doesn't matter. It, it has no no actual impact on you. That little bit of chump change or roll off you like rain rolling off your skin. But, you know, if you're, if you're not so well off, yeah, that could impact your survivability. It could, it could greatly affect the amount of fun, pleasure, and leisure you have. So, obviously, the more money you come here, the better off you are. But not everybody can do that, right? And it also depends on the duration of your stay and what you do here. Again, to reiterate, I don't drink alcohol, right? I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't go to bars. I don't go to beer bars. I've actually never even been to a go-go bar, <laughs> you know, <laughs> strip clubs, shit like that. I consider them money pits, right? Those are places where mostly tricks go. And again, I have tricked before, but usually it's been with massage girls or I don't really much go out of my way, per se. I've... My past girlfriends here have been massage girl, laundry girl, whoever I meet in my normal daily path. I'm not necessarily in the route to go to that specific location like a lot of people do. So whatever, man. It's There's no right or wrong. You're a grown-ass man. Remember that. Every man wants to be the man. This goes out to everybody listening to me here. You go and do whatever you want to do, man. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> Other people can throw judgment just like they judge me, right? who I don't even know most of these fucks personally, you guys can judge me and I could judge you back. It's a two-way mirror. But don't do things in life and think you're not going to get judged. That's a mistake. <laughs> don't think you're going to go through life and not get criticized, especially if you go public with it like me. So there you have it. There is no right or wrong or whatever. So, you know, thanks for the comment, Ricky. Anybody else on this thing here? I'm just getting hungry. I got to give you some food soon. Uh, the Matrix Escape is five days ago, commenting on three things Asian women want in a man. Quote, unquote, Miss Piggy, rugby-like, HD heavy duty. <laughs> I appreciate the shout-out, Shimmy. You the GOAT. Another, uh, greatest of all time, I guess. Uh, uh, another video coming soon. I hear your point. I'm not a public figure, and I don't think I'll ever be knowable. It's understandable that I should be Googleable and have social media accounts to communicate with these younger type girls, but not everyone can become a noted public figure like yourself. Um, I prefer to stay out of the spotlight like Ace from Paid in Full. I socialize. I go out to cold approach around 5% success rate, i.e. eventual sex. I go to bars, clubs. I go to yoga classes in the gym. So... I'm not just at home complaining like some dudes from the manosphere. Honest, honestly, I s just see myself following a similar route to your own. Apart from the actual movies, I use my coding abilities to make money whilst I travel. I know basic Spanish now that'll help with the South American travels, but Thailand is higher on the list too. All right, so um, real quickly, thank you again, man. Uh, Matrix Escapers, I think I told you guys to subscribe to his channel. Um, Spanish countries are going to be cheaper for you to travel to from America, but if I remember correctly, you're in the UK, like England, so it's probably cheaper to fly to, I would think, it's Southeast Asian countries than it is to go all the way to the, to the West and go to, like, Caribbean, South America, Central America, and stuff like that. I don't know what plane tickets cost in the UK, again, but your comments there, yeah, I, I, I referred to British UK girls as Miss Piggy, because I think they do kind of look like Miss Piggy rugby like HD heavy duty that's just how I view them um, most English girls fall into that category for me um, I think there's there's only one English girl I follow on YouTube I think her name is Rosie Burr she's a contortionist gymnast type of girl I like her accent I like English girls accent that's about it but they all do have this just roundish face and broad shoulder body and usually bad teeth and stuff like that it goes with the territory I guess you're in England you know better than me but yeah, uh, my only experience with English or British girls is I think in 
uh, Columbia. There were a couple of them at the hostel, and they were much bigger and larger than me, and they didn't even want to fuck with me. I remember even it was a black chick from England, even she looked at me kind of weird. I'm like, well, whatever, bitch. You know, it's like that. So I'm not compatible with everybody like that, but particularly English girls, I don't actually find them that attractive, more or less. Yeah, so there you have it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Miss Piggy. Yeah, they look like rugby players, man. Um, about being a public figure in Noah Boy, it's because I make movies, man, or I got this goddamn channel. You have a YouTube channel. Don't be afraid to show your face and talk to people and put yourself out there, man. If you're afraid to put yourself out there, you know, that's going to limit you. You know, you have to go beyond being a, a icon avatar, I think. That's my opinion on stuff or whatever. But the more you're out there, the better, man. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's actually pretty good. Cold approach, you have a 5% like sex sex success rate with girls so that means what one out of every 20 girls fucks with you that's pretty damn good i think in my personal opinion i mean if that's your only goal i mean but my only question to you is like what you only fuck them one time how is it i mean most girls that you fuck are worthy of a repeat fucking a repeat fucking a repeat fuck in my book i mean there's not too many you know, one one time things or whatever, unless I'm doing porno movies, that's something entirely different. But if you're meeting these girls casually at the gym, et cetera, et cetera, I'm assuming you're befriending them or whatever based on the environment that you meet them in. So why can't you have some kind of ongoing thing with them is my question to you, I suppose. And wouldn't it be better to just repeat repeat with the same partner who all, who already likes you? Or maybe they don't like you after that or they, they just wanted a you know, one night stand fling, you're their cheater guy or some shit like that. I don't know the answer to that, but uh, that's what I would pose, man. Um, yeah. Yoga classes. Now, I've gone to yoga classes a long time ago. I mean, it's been over 10 years, but there's usually not too many guys in yoga classes. You know, the few guys in yoga classes are usually gay, man. It's like uh, yoga classes, Zumba, shit like that. It's Pretty much, they look, girls look at you like you're a pervert if you're a no, if you're a straight guy. They look at you like you're in a pervert just there to watch them in their yoga pants and stuff like that. Now I do this shit on TV with Marie Kruchkova and YouTube and stuff in the privacy of my own home or whatever. But I'm not necessarily wanting to go, you know, sit in and demonstrate and go do a yoga class, even though I could do all the same shit they do or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, girls will probably they'll look at you kind of like you're a pervert if you're in the yoga class, even if you're in the front, back, or whatever. Perv or gay is kind of how they're going to classify you. Was what I my personal experience with doing shit like that because my gym offered free yoga and shit like that a long time ago. So yeah, yeah, man, that's all good though. Yeah, continue with your coding website stuff and uh, let me know how it goes in your Spanish countries and stuff like that. You know, definitely. I think if you're in the UK, I think Spain is probably closer to you more so than anything. From what I found, girls in Spain usually like black guys. They're not as like. Uh, basically racist as many of the ones in the Caribbean and South America, more or less. Yeah, they're a little more open-minded. Um, what else we got on here? Another comment. He comments on a very old video I did about NPD abuse videos. He quote-unquote, only so many heartbeats. Uh, he says, quote-unquote, I guess I said that in the video. I work full-time all day, every day. I'm wasting so many of my days. Summers and winters pass by like a montage. I've gotten rid of my narcissist and improved my life. Now I just want more control over my time. I'm reliant on the salary I receive, and it can't stay that way. Got to cut your expenses, my man. That's the only ex that's the only way you could do it. You know, straight up, man. If you can't own your own property, uh, cut your rent down to the minimal. I would suggest. Or if you can't even do that, rent a commercial office space, man. Rent get get. Get your expenses new, man. Live off of oatmeal if you have to. Nobody actually sees the sacrifices made for, uh, you know, doing a lot of the stuff that I do. But it's <laughs> living off of protein powder, oatmeal, working out, this and that. It's like you gotta you gotta crunch down and save, my man. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's like lower your expenses is the only way because you can't. You're already working, I guess, a job or two. You can't work three jobs. There's not enough hours in the day, so. Now, unless you can make more money on the job or get another job, you got to crunch the expenses lower, as low as possible. That means eliminate your car payment, eliminate unnecessary shit, insurances, whatever. But do what you can to put your expenses as low as possible. Yeah, man. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I don't think I want to make this video too long. You guys, thank you for watching. I'm Shemmy Cash. You want to support my work, hit me up in the link tree. Leave a comment below. I'll get back to you usually within about a week or something like that. 
and uh, you guys support my work. Again, Shimmy Cash from Indian Girls to Ticos, White Girl Cops, The Shimmy Show, White Lives Matter. Just search for Shimmy Cash in Google or whatever. You'll find me or I'm on your favorite adult channels and networks. Yeah, so look me up that way. And that is how you can support my work. So, yeah, thank you for watching. The cartwheels will continue. The running will continue. And I'll be at the racetrack the next couple of days and bring back some videos from there. All right, thank you for watching. Think Let's go get yeah, him. Yeah, I think he's up there. I heard he's on the second floor up here. They said he was to the right, so we're gonna. Yeah, they said he's top he's floor to the end. right. Yeah. All right. There we go. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at this neighborhood. This totally looks like some place he would be. Oh my God. There's yeah. freaking pills out here. Yeah. We're gonna totally. I, yeah. Two o three. Go ahead. And... Delivery. He doesn't even know we're coming, like... I bet you he's trying to cover it all up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I dare you to peddle this shit to a chocolate man in Thailand or any of his friends. They will set you straight for sure. Stewie Griffin.